Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking all about deep conditioning. So I want to start off by telling you guys what a deep conditioner is. So a deep conditioner is a conditioner for your hair, but it's different from a regular conditioner. A regular conditioner is what you put on after shampooing your hair, and this helps to balance your pH and helps you with detangling. Get your hair back at its happy place. A deep conditioner is like a spa day for your hair. Total relaxation. Now, deep conditioners are sometimes referred to as hair masks, but they are an essential part to your hair regimen. And this is because they get deep down into your hair's cuticle to moisturize from the inside out. So unlike a regular conditioner that's, that's just gonna take care of the outside of your hair, deep conditioner is actually gonna get deep into your hair to make sure that it's taken care of. So when it comes to deep conditioning, it's pretty simple, but there are a few steps to follow. And the first step begins in the store. When you go to the store to buy your deep conditioner, make sure to check the ingredients. All these companies will tell you all natural, organic, natural ingredients, deep conditioner, hair mask, it will do this for you, it will do that for you. But the FDA doesn't actually regulate hair care products, so they can say whatever the heck they want. But as I mentioned before, a deep conditioner is really supposed to get deep down into your hair. And so when you are checking the ingredients, make sure to look for avocado oil, olive oil, or coconut oil, because these are the only oils that can actually penetrate through your hair shaft to really nourish your hair from the inside out. If they don't contain these ingredients, then more than likely your deep conditioner is just sitting on the surface of your hair, not really helping the inside. You're not getting that max relaxation. And that eliminates the purpose of the deep conditioner. For a list of my favorite deep conditioners and the ones that contain these ingredients, I will leave a link to my Amazon store down below so you guys can check them out and try them out for yourself. And if you have Amazon Prime, you get free shipping. <laughs> we love a deal. Now, once you got your deep conditioner, it's time to use it. So you want to start on freshly washed hair and you want to apply it generously to your hair, really focusing on the ends because the ends are the oldest part of your hair. Your roots are the baby babies. You know, they're the ones that are brand new. They're holding up strong, but the ends of your hair are the parts that need it the most. It's like an old person. An old person will enjoy a spa experience. A baby would probably not. Not to say that this hair doesn't need love, but you really do want to make sure that you're really babying and taking care of your ends because that's going to help you out with length retention. Okay. Now once the deep conditioner is generously applied to your hair, the next step is to cover your hair with a plastic bag and let it sit for 20 to 30 minutes. You only need to leave most deep conditioners on for 20 to 30 minutes because after that time, it's really not doing much your hair has already sucked in all the nutrients from it and so from that point on it's really just sitting on your hair doing nothing but if you like that then go ahead but back to the point of the 20 to 30 minutes if your deep conditioner is not working after 20 to 30 minutes maybe you should consider trying a different one and if it's not working check the ingredients because if they don't have avocado oil coconut oil or olive oil that might just be the reason why and so no matter how long you leave it on there it's not gonna work and there are articles out there to back me up yes I does my research while you're deep conditioning, to amp it up a bit, apply heat. And no, no, we ain't talking about no flat iron. We ain't trying to heat damage our hair. None of that. That's not what's going on here. What that does is the plastic bag traps in the heat. So while you're heating that, your head is heating up. And so all the heat inside is what's really going to open up your hair cuticle to allow the deep conditioner to penetrate your hair even faster and sometimes even deeper. Now, there are a few different ways that you can add heat. To your deep conditioner i've come up with some innovative ways myself which i will be showing in another video so keep an eye out for that one yeah keep an eye out i know it's a lot to ask for so i'll do it with you let me just grab this eye real quick can't see out of it anyway once you've let the deep conditioner sit on your hair for about 20 to 30 minutes or if you use heat that 20 to 30 minutes can now be 10 to 15 minutes it's time to rinse it out and you want to rinse it out with cold water. This is going to shock your hair's cuticle to really hold that moisture. You don't want to use hot water because then you're going to open up the cuticles and just flush it all out. Then what's the point? After this step, you now have deeply moisturized curls ready for styling. Now I need you to remember that the key to deep conditioning is consistency. So please promise me that you are going to deep condition at least once a week. If your hair is really dry, then you can do it twice a week. 
I myself do it twice a week. So I know you can at least do it once a week. Okay, Pinky promise. Pinky promise me. There we go. All right. It's on. I'm watching you. Yeah, bet you didn't expect that one. Another thing that I want to mention is you don't have to break the bank buying deep kit. It's not about the price. Price doesn't always mean quality. What I really want you guys to do is look out for those ingredients, avocado oil, coconut oil, and olive oil. If any of those ingredients are in your deep conditioner, boom, you are ready to go. Now look for some affordable deep conditioners and add them to my Amazon store just so that you guys, you know, will be hooked up, ready to go. And we all just have beautiful curls. That's how they're going to know you subscribe to my channel because your curls are going to be looking and they're going to know. They're going to be like, oh, that he, they must watch Kobe Lomax. And I'm going to say, yep, you got that right. And maybe you should too because your curls are looking a little rough right now, fella. But thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Yeah. Ooh. It's hot. Hot, hot, hot.